What's up, Skrillgers? It's Nerp here. Welcome to another Skrulls video. Look, I was shut out of the weekly winners this week. I, uh, was number two behind PewQ by one point. I was 1874, he was 1875, and I tried to take the first place so I can get weekly winner number one again, but I failed. I actually went all the way out of the, uh, the top three, so... Henock, Henock actually got third, and um, I had to settle for like being in fifth place. But I'm back up to number two now, and we're gonna try to get to number one. I don't know if I could do it in this video, but I'll try. I went on a little losing streak, as you can, as you have seen, uh, by playing Tempo Order. Um, I went on a little bit losing streak with that, and also I lost a, a couple of matches. Aggro Enchantment Growth. So these aggressive decks. That usually work out really well for me. Just weren't doing it for me, uh, for me today or yesterday. So what has been working for me now is ranged energy. That's what we're gonna do today. Um, this is my ranged energy build. I like the two tick bombs in there. I've seen a lot of energy in the ladder right now, so the tick bombs have been really, really, really strong against energy. You play one of these things on somebody's like forge or like ether pump, and they're just so surprised and you destroy the thing right behind it. So I really like it a lot, and a lot of people don't play like four drops like Reaver, Tempest Reaver, and Hearts Mark Zone. I like them both. Then the Elders of the five drop, no cannons for sick drops, and it's pretty standard other than that. So no uh, Oculus Cannon and uh, Overdrive. I don't know Overdrive in the deck. So that's what we'll be playing in this video. Hopefully I can get a match soon. I'll be back when a match is found. To tell him. No. Tell me what? Dad is a woman. I think your family is incredible. It's a privilege to be witness to you guys. Here's another shitty song about booty. No thought went into this crap, it's just booty. It's so bad the title should have been Dooty. Makes Anaconda seem like a masterpiece. It's pitiful, my new single. It's just more minds for other butts. This is getting old. I am a mother. I should know better. Here we go. Found a match. Let's see who it is. Oh, it is Zadrim Zadrim. He is a very strong player, so I'm a little bit worried. And yeah, this is the third time I'm facing today. Um, I th think, yeah. And this starting hand, I mean, I do have a Storm Runner and a Cannon in my starting hand, but um, I definitely want to have a one drop or a two drop, so we're gonna mulligan. This time there's a much better starting hand. Um, I like going, I'm gonna get rid of the, one of the two drops, I'll get rid of, actually I got rid of the Canada. Because I actually have three three drops. So now I have two two drops and two three drops. Alright. So 
Next turn we're going to play Hard Smuggler most likely. And he, hopefully he doesn't have a turn one blaze. So he's playing energy. And it's nice that he did not have like a dust runner turn one because we went first. We get to put the two drop down first. And I will get rid of the gun automaton because I like my curve upwards. And next turn I could probably play a cannonetta and then burn the turn after. So it's looking good so far. Battle of the top ten on the ladder for the first uh, reset head. So not first reset, but I have the male head. Zadrum has the female head. So Zadrum goes ahead and plays a hired smuggler. And I want to keep both burns, so I'm going to sacrifice one of these. I'll sacrifice the Oculus Cannon. Oculus Cannon is better like when you put it on bombards and stuff. Right now it's not a huge deal. And I'll protect this just a little bit. And next turn, hopefully we can destroy his smuggler with my smuggler. If not, hopefully this thing survives so I can hit an idol. Could see a spark, iron whip, and that is going to destroy my cannonetta. Does he have like a dust runner to put in front? A raider to put behind. Okay. Well, I guess we'll destroy one of these. Do I want to? I think we want to burn. I think we want to clear his board. Um, hired monster isn't as great against energy because of the three health. Just gets burned so fast, so I'll just burn. Either one of his guys doesn't really matter, so I'm going to destroy them both. I could try to hit an idol, but I'm kind of scared of the raider having uh, Relentless and the smuggler being able to draw. So now I'm ahead on like tempo and stuff because of that burn, which is really, really helpful in the mirror match. And he does not have a play on turn 4. Wow, it's really good for me. So unfortunately I have nothing to burn, but I do have a 4-drop Great Track to place down, which I will... Get rid of the spark. That's more like turn two removal. I don't want really to use it much after that. And we've commanded the board. Um, we're. Pr I'm not sure what I want to do here. I almost want to ramp up so I can mount dispersal this next turn. But I don't know what I want to sacrifice. Is if I sacrifice, I want to keep like all three of the removal spells. So I'm gonna do a sacrifice dust runner for scrolls and hope I can top deck something helpful. Because honestly, Gravelock Elder is not like a VD target just yet. So we're gonna straw for scrolls, see what I get, and perfect, I got another four drop. So I will go ahead and play that, and I could move up, but. I'm going to elect not to. I like just commanding center lane and tr keep drawing structures like this. So next turn now I have a reason to ramp up because I can go with a smuggler and automata forge. Yeah, I bought a. Uh... about them all too. I'm sure you have seen the video on my channel I did that. So we'll definitely want to VD these guys soon now but we'll get rid of the spark. Spark doesn't do much to these big health creatures and then unfortunately this guy's gonna have zero attack because I'm gonna get down a forge and another hired smuggler. And I like these guys in the front row because of their armor so I'll separate them a little bit. Okay. And now next turn I can bounce dispersal this this elder that's attacking next turn. Hopefully it doesn't put down another elder. Gravelock guard. So this this is like definitely a Gravelock deck by Zadrum, but it has like ranged units in it too. Like high saw the hired smuggler and stuff like that. So it's interesting. Now I could use like the Reaver's attack and just destroy this guard, but I don't think that's worth it. So we're actually going to just Valent Dispersal this Elder. Especially it's good that we're Valent Dispersaling before like there's freaks on the board. And I'll draw another structure instead of dealing 2 damage to this guard. Because even when I Valent Dispersal this Elder, like the guard will still survive anyways. And I think it's wise to just move up. Alright. And don't get into Thunder Surge too much. Like group up for Thunder Surge. 
So, looks like I do have, it's a tricky game right now. We're both teetering. Like, he has more units that are, like, attacking. But, I'm ahead on the resources. And hopefully these armored creatures will be hard for him to break through. Okay, so once I... I'm going to Volant Dispersal this Elder this turn, I think. Yes, he puts it on that. Now I can Volant Dispersal the Elder. And... Unfortunately... Actually, oh, I can Volant Dispersal the Elder and kill this Gravelock Guard. Perfect. But I want to keep that... Oh, what about a Thunder Surge this turn? Thunder Surge wouldn't be bad because then I can burn the Elder. I think actually it's better just to bounce the special of the altar. And I'm going to sacrifice the Oculus Cannon uh, because I want to keep all the removal on my hand. Bounce the special of the elder. And now I have just enough attack to destroy this guard. I could go for uh, another structure scroll, but I think we're fine as it is. And perfect. So I guess that worked out well. And then we have a burn for this hard smoker next. When you're playing Grail like X, that's what you got to do. Save your. Mount dispersals or your damage curses for those three elders. Sometimes you might end up having to use them on freaks, which is okay. So burn on my smuggler's attack next turn. Fine, but I'll just burn Zadrum's smuggler's attack next turn then. As some payback. Okay. Um, I could burn. I don't want to sacrifice that bombard, but I think I will this turn actually, because my units, my board is not really like a, a board you would really use to bombard. And even if I bombard, these guys are gonna have lower attack. And since this guy's potion resistance, instead of burn, I think I'm just gonna thunder surge so I can get rid of both of these guys. So I will sacrifice the bombard for scrolls. Something you don't see uh, too often, sacrificing bombard, but that works. And then I'll also deal some. The one damage to this Gravelock Guard. Alright, so Zadrum thinks that's game, and he's probably right. But he could still come back because he gets the Elder there, but I have a Violent Dispersal. So. What should I do here? I should just mount dispersal and then have you finish him off and draw a structure. I think that's the plan. So I just sacrifice the gun auto for scrolls. We haven't even had to use a bombard yet. Move like this. And that clears the board and draws me a scroll. And I just I use three bounce dispersals on his three idols. And since he's playing a Gravelock deck, he does not have a really a, bit, a good way to come back in this game now that all three Elders are dead. And he realizes that, so he surrenders. So, good game to Zadrum. Really, me going first and getting a nice curve up really helped me a lot. And also, the Smuggler was able to get a lot of, a lot of structure scrolls for me. So, that'll be it for today. So, like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content like this. And make sure you submit your plays to me at nerfthinage.gmail.com to try to get on to Top Scrolls Plays of the Week. And I guess that'll be it for today.